Hi there, Mouseketeers! Kate or Princess Minnie here, and if you are a returning friend, then hi! Welcome back. I'm so excited to do a mystery pin unboxing with you today. And if you're a new friend and you just like Disney content, especially Disney pin content, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon to hang around for more awesome pin content. And things like Bippity Bobbity Box and Disney Hauls and vlogs and all of the good stuff. So uh, today we are going to be doing two more boxes of the food and wine pins. We're going to be doing two more of the Box Lunch Disney Bow pins. And we're going to just get a teaser because I do have more boxes. But we're going to do a teaser of the second series Box Lunch Princess Dress pins. And pretty excited about some of those. So hoping for some real luck with this box especially today before we get into it and i think we will start with uh one of the food and wine pins i do want to give a quick subscriber shout out to not only a subscriber but a friend of mine who has her own amazing disney youtube channel and that is my friend nina over at wrestling with disney if you like disney content i definitely think you would like nina she's such a cool person such a funny person and the more i watch her just the more i fall in love with her personality so thank you so much nina um i loved your comment about how many of these pins looked like some they had sombreros on them from when we do when we look at the back of them because I didn't feel so alone after your comment so thank you so much and for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about I'll show you in a minute and Nina you're a real musketeer for sure so thank you so much so here is the food and wine pin box I just love the way this box looks they do represent all 11 Epcot pavilions here and Last time I opened this up, I mean, spoiler alert, so if you don't want to know, I'm going to give you like five seconds to stop this video and go watch <laughs> my most recent video of pin unboxings. All right, now that those people are gone, the rest of us will might remember that I opened Grumpy, I opened Lumiere, and I opened two Goofies. And the first one had a big flaw in it, but the second one was perfect. So actually, I did not mind getting that double at it, like by any means. I really want every pin in this set, but my favorite pins that I'm still looking for are Chippendale, Winnie the Pooh, and Donald, who happens to be wearing a sombrero. Oh my gosh, like I'm noticing now just like how round and in the middle the sombrero point is but when I opened up this pin I thought that from the back of this point looked like it could be a sombrero point but now I'm seeing it's a much different shape and from the back of the Lumiere pin I did think that the teeny tiny little point of the Eiffel Tower could have been Donald's sombrero also very wrong so let's open up the first one of these at camera and see if we can guess which character is in the first blind bag okay here it is I'm not seeing any points so even though this is kind of giving me Lumiere vibes with like the, the curve, we know it's not Lumiere because we just went over there would have been a point here. Hmm, I'm really not sure which one this would be. Ma oh my god. Oh my god, could this be the sombrero? I just, Nina, you know, I see sombreros everywhere now and now I just need to find out because now I remember it being like floppier. Could this be it? No way! <laughs> Oh, that is hysterical. Oh, I love that. So now we know for sure what the sombrero looks like. Okay, I love this one. I love how you can see the flag behind them. Of course, it's being obscured by Donald's ridiculously large sombrero, but he looks phenomenal. The tacos look... I was gonna say they look kind of yummy, but I actually kind of don't think they do. <laughs> I don't know what on earth is in them, but I love this pin overall. It's definitely one of the most fun pavilions and the most memorable ones. And I, I just think this looks fantastic. And now I can check another one off of my most wanted list. Gotta love when you start off a mystery pin unboxing with awesome luck. And I have the second pin here. Now, I just pulled the Mexican pavilion, which I think was my sister's favorite pavilion in Epcot. I would love to pull one of my favorite pavilions. I already pulled my absolute favorite, which is the France pavilion, but very close behind that is the Italy pavilion. So I would love to see Jiminy Cricket pin, but let's just see what it is, right? Okay, do a quick pop up. Let you see my, see how I'm feeling about it. <laughs> okay, so kind of funny. Uh, we just got my sister's favorite pavilion, and we got my favorite pavilion again, France with Lumiere. I absolutely love this pin. Um, just like the Mexican flag and the Donald pin, I think the French flag looks phenomenal in the background here. I love the um, architecture. 
and Lumiere is one of my favorite Disney sidekicks from one of my favorite Disney movies, so it's all good here. I love this, and I think that he will make a wonderful trader. Let's do two of the bow pins. I will show you the options of the camera, and I'll remind you uh, which ones we got in the last video, which was the first time I ever opened these pins. Okay, so you mostly have some beautiful princess bows here, but you do have the chase version being a villain, who's my favorite female villain, Maleficent, and the only villain I actively collect. So, last time I was lucky enough to get some amazing characters. I got Mulan, Tiana, and Pocahontas. Although the Pocahontas one did have a flaw, so if I opened up a flawless Pocahontas, I wouldn't be mad about it. And I hope not to get Merida or any of the other ones I already opened because I do have Merida on the way from a friend and the others would be doubles. And I really want to complete this set, at least largely. Um, I did not get my favorite two princesses to collect in pin form, so I'm hoping for them. And I think most of you guys out there in YouTube world would know who they are. I do think I probably got some of the prettiest bows last time, but I do think there are a couple stunning ones left. I'm, I'm not as equally into all of them from this set, just as I'm not equally as into all of the princesses, but there are some stunners out there. Okay, let's hope this one is. What do we got? Oh my god! We got the chase! We got Maleficent! I was so hoping for this, but you just don't think. You just don't think, I'm going to get the chase. Oh my god. And my friend Jess, who also, she's the one giving me the Merida pin, she also pulled the chase. That's that's crazy. I really want to know what the rarity of these are. Okay, this is stunning. It's gorgeous. I cannot wait to put a Maleficent pin board together. Maybe I'll do that in lieu of like a traditional Halloween pin board this year. I'm not sure, but I think this is absolutely going to be a focal point. It's gorgeous just like Maleficent herself look how beautiful this is it's mostly that dark green um, maybe they could have done like black for the horns but I still think it's gorgeous no matter what I like how they have this little accent green there um, just for some contrast and then the gem in the middle it's a stunner and none of the princess pins have a gem like that and the glitter is beautiful. Sometimes Box Lunch does not do a very good job quality-wise with its glitter, but this I have no complaints whatsoever. But if you look on the back, yeah, you can see glitter. So like, what is going on at that factory? <laughs> so, so, so psyched about the luck in this mystery pin unboxing. Okay, so we have one more, and I'm assuming I'm not going to get lucky enough to get two chases. And yes, I would feel that I would feel that that's lucky, because I do think it's probably pretty hard to trade for that one. So I'd love to have a trader to be able to help someone else out that with their collection. Um, so I would definitely count that as amazing luck. But you know, I'm on the hunt for a lot of those other princesses. I think I might have just seen a color, and I think it might have been what I need. Yes! Oh my god! I need to go buy a lottery ticket because the luck is real today! Guys, and I'm just quickly checking it before I like show you. So, real quick, guess in the comments below right now who do you think this was, and that way I know you, you didn't cheat. Um, I mean, you still could. I'll never know. Uh, this is amazing! So, no flaws. I'm just checking for flaws, but it looks perfect to me. I mean, the glitter is a little askew. Again, we just talked about how that's kind of the, the trend for box lunch so whatever you just know that when you buy them guys who guessed right it's cinderella if you said bell major props you know me very well but cinderella oh my god i love this so so much it's gorgeous i am so thrilled like just seriously how stunning is this with all those colors and the carriage at the center i mean it it doesn't get a lot better than this folks i am so stunned by all of the pins in this video i'm so thrilled um so you can see the pale part whether you want to say that's more of like it's coming up as a very like silver like the what cinderella's dress originally really looked like um but in person it's a little bluer i think and that part is super glittery, and then there's some errant glitter on the darker blue parts, but whatever, that's fine. I think the carriage is flawless. I love this pin. I cannot wait to add this to my Cindy board. For the first time ever on this channel, and in real life too, I'm going to be opening up the Series 2 princess dresses. I'm so excited. The front is pretty, but you know, just kind of basic, but very, very lovely. And so you have eight looks here, and they are kind of just like eight of like alternative looks for some of the Disney girls. 
I do not actually want all of these. My priorities are, I do love the Aurora dress. I do love the Ariel dress. I do love Dells, and I do love Mulans. Those four are my absolute favorites. If I get one of those, I will definitely consider this to be like the luckiest pin unboxing of all time. Um, and if I get one of the other four, that's okay. I just mostly don't want to get this one here. And not because I don't love Jasmine. I do. I just think it's really weird that there's no body other than a floating torso. So I think I'd have to stay away from that one. What do you guys think? Uh, is, is the luck going to continue? I don't know. I'm feeling good. I, I was thinking about filming another mystery pin unboxing right after this one, but I don't know. That might be like asking too much for, for from luck. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's funny. These are so much smaller than the bows. The bows are like bursting out of the bag. Okay, this is going to be... Okay. Not the best look ever. Um, this is pretty. I don't know if it'll wind up in my collection or if it'll become a trader. It is very pretty though. So it is Tiana's blue ball gown. It's lovely, but to me, her, and I said this in my last video too, her lily pad green ball gown is just one of the most stunning things I've ever seen. So it's not that this isn't beautiful. It's just that, and blue's my favorite color. It's just that it doesn't live up to that one. So it's super pretty. The sash is my favorite part. I love the glitter on it. To me, the silhouette just doesn't do it for me. I don't like the silhouette of this dress. And it almost to me has like wedding dress vibes. So it's pretty. It's just not for me. And as much as I do love some of my Princess and the Frog pins, I try to keep that collection very, very small uh, just to my favorites. So I'm, this one might become a traitor. All right, and let's open up our final pin box of the video. As a reminder, here are the pins. We are most on the hunt for Pooh and Chip and Dale at this point, although any of the rest would be really, really cool. Okay, I do have a guess as to what this one is that has entirely to do with this shape right here and this shape right here. I think we're seeing mouse ears, and I'm gonna guess that this is Minnie Mouse. Anybody else out there? Okay, let's see. Oh no! Okay, I mean, they did look a little off from regular mouse ears, but I forgot Duffy was even in this set. So Duffy is representing Norway, and he has some school bread here. Thank you so much, Robin and Rodney, for letting me know in your video um, that that was school bread. I just hadn't thought of it. I don't eat the school bread in Norway because I think it has coconut on it, and I'm just not a fan of coconut. But I think this is cute. I didn't even know Norway's flag looked like that, to be honest. I think it's beautiful. I think Duffy looks cool. Um, I said this about the Goofy pin that I got last time that I wish his shirt was just any other color really and maybe his scarf too. His scarf kind of flows with this shape of the flag and so maybe that's what they were going for but I don't like the you know the maroon against the bold red here uh, but I think it's adorable. I really do. I like the architecture in the background. I think this is one of the most darling little pins. He's such a cute character. I like his little paw and uh, another one closer to completing the set so this is all good. All right, let's see. I do have a guess for this one as well, and I think it's one I talked about earlier because I'm pretty sure this shape is a top hat. Yes, it's Jiminy Cricket representing one of my absolute favorite pavilions, Italy. Oh, look how cool. And it, what do we have there? Is that pasta? It must be pasta, right? With some meatballs thrown in, but hmm, just... It's not like the, that rolled up um, pasta or something. It just looks kind of weird to me. It's a weird color. I'm not digging the food on most of these pins, to be honest, but I really do like the flags a lot. I like the architecture a lot. And um, I never really think about Jiminy Cricket being from Italy. So that's a nice little nod to that as well. Very cute. I have absolutely zero complaints about any of the pins that I pulled today. I think luck was pretty spot on here. Um, we got three new food and wine pins with Donald, who was one of my most wanted pins, Duffy and Jiminy, so great variety in those boxes, and a really good double. If you had to get one, I think a lot of people are going to want Lumiere. So, and then we also got the Chase. Oh, wow! As I'm looking at it in the light, there's actually a lot more um, shimmer details to the glitter and it, like a little blue glitter actually. So that's pretty neat. Um, the dress is cool, Tiana's dress is nice, and the Cinderella pin I totally needed. So wonderful pins today.
Definitely a heavy presence of red on the board. Every single flag has red in it. I think that's a pretty cool connection there. All right, you guys gotta let me know. Are we pin twins on any of these? Are you working to complete the food and wine set? Have you gotten the chase pin from any set like that? That's really cool, like from box lunch sets. And um, which of these was your favorite pin of the video? I think I'm gonna have to say I'm completely at a tie between Donald, because he's so cute and he's one of my favorite characters and I love him in that sombrero, and the Maleficent pin, because it's just phenomenal. I would say Donald probably fits into my overall collection better, but I just, I really love this and the fact that it's a chase makes it a little bit extra special. But let me know what your favorite pin of the video was. Thank you so much friends for joining along on this mystery pin unboxing with me. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. I hope to hear from you in the comments down below and see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a magical day. I'll see you real soon.